Hello there, Bubble Bitcoiner is back. I hope to do this refresher uh, uh, every day. All right, each refresher is just on one explanation. So today I'm going to explain the function of Node. Okay. Bitcoin software is an open source, right? Everybody should know by now. That means to say it's openly displayed on display on the internet. Anyone can copy it and do their own uh, coin even. Example, dot coin, do that. Anyone can copy the Bitcoin software into their computer, all right, and run the program. And people who do that or computer that do that is called a node, N-O-D-E, all right. When you run the program, it means you are participating in the transaction clarification, verification, and certification process. Right. The only thing you don't do here is mining. So, uh, let me try and get this done. Okay, this is what we call computer node. Every uh, computer that download the software, Bitcoin software, and run the program is called a node. Each and every one is a node across the whole world, all right? Running the Bitcoin ecosystem or the Bitcoin software. Now, there are more than 20,000 uh, nodes today in the Bitcoin network. The node conduct all the cryptographic hashing, which is verification, algorithm, and mathematical consensus, and maintain the blockchain record of transaction. That means a copy of the distributed ledger blockchain resides in every node or computer. That means there are more than 20,000 servers in the Bitcoin network. This is why Bitcoin is decentralized. A quiz here, why Bitcoin blockchain cannot be hacked? Since Every node carry every node is a server and carry a copy of the blockchain record. How can hacker get into the more than twenty thousand uh, computer of servers? Impossible, right? That's why until today, thirteen years already, Bitcoin blockchain has never been. Short version again. See you next episode. Another simple point of uh, 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 explanation. Okay?